Michael is a tech recruiter. For seven years, he's been helping companies hire tech talent from around the world. People are becoming more and more disenfranchised with the U.S. policy and the U.S. culture, and people who have options are going to other places. Datalog, a tech startup, is moving its engineering operation to Montreal, Canada. People nowadays are thinking that it's a little bit less sexy to move to the U.S. given the current policies that are at play, or at least the perceived policies that are, that are at play. And by having an office in Canada, we can actually welcome that global talent into a central place, a place where people can do work side by side. Making sure that people feel welcome is my top priority. And by having both of these offices, we can actually make sure that we're both meeting the needs of our clients as well as making sure that people are welcome. The tech sector employs about 4% of the total U.S. workforce. And over half of tech employees in Silicon Valley are foreign born. Losing tech talent is pretty bad for our economy. It's pretty bad for innovation. I didn't have to move to Canada because I have the job. I have a visa valid till 2020. But looking at the current situation, if I have a kid tomorrow, I don't know when the kid grows up. So I would rather prefer a place where I can stay with my family and not falling apart. My family is not getting deported or getting self-deported. Jit says his dream is to start his own business. And he's taking that dream to Canada. I call this country my home for a long time. And this is my home. I came to this country when I was 21 year age. And today I'm 33. I feel very sad that, you know, it's, it's time to say goodbye to this country. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.